That's a fucking tomato, guys. What is up, guys, and welcome back to the vlog. So right now, to start the day, I just let the dogs outside, and I hear Chloe barking, and I'm telling her to quiet down, and she is just not quieting down, and I look outside, and this is what I see. See, Chloe was just barking. But there's literally a dead pigeon out here in my yard and I have no idea what to do with this. I guess I'm just going to have to put it in a bag and throw it in the trash. I have no idea what happened to it or why it's like this, but Chloe does not like it. So need to take care of it as soon as possible. Trying to figure out what I'm going to have to eat for breakfast today. And I have a couple of options. I can either have a turkey sandwich, uh, a turkey sandwich with mashed potatoes, or a turkey sandwich with mashed potatoes and stuffing. So, I think I'm gonna go with option number three. Now I got my food, my water, bone snapple tea. Right now, Rachel and I are actually talking about Christmas and presents and stuff like that. And she's like, I have a list. And I'm like, oh, I can only imagine. Look at how long this list is of shit. It's Hold just on. ideas. You can't even see because it's written in silver marker. But she's got a long ass list of Christmas stuff. Let's see what we got on here. Sephora gift card, purse. Blanket, socks, Nike outfit, bomber jacket, leg warmers, clothes, candles, trench coat, suede hat, makeup, beauty blenders, hair ties, perfume, candy, Philadelphia Eagles sweater, high boots, sunglasses, bath bombs. Holy shit, Rachel. Dude. You want me to just like buy you all of like Burlington Coat Factory or some I shit? Said, I don't expect you to buy me all of that. I know, I'm just kidding. I'll get you a dollar. A dollar? A dollar for Christmas. A dollar? Yeah. How am I going to wrap it? Yeah. I'll just give it to you. I'll put it in your stocking. I'll be a dollar richer. <laughs> a dollar richer. So Rachel is just getting ready to head to work. I don't want you to leave. Mm -hmm. Chloe smells and I'm not giving her a bath. Yeah, you are. No, you can give her one when you get home. No, you are. Yeah, I have stuff to do. Yeah, give her a bath. No, no, that's not what I have to do. So Devin just got here not too long ago. He brought Nate along and Griffey has been just trying to play with Nate this entire time, but Nate keeps growling. Look at him, he's... Look, Griffey just wants to play, but Nate keeps growling. He's like, leave me the fuck alone. So we're about to play a little Call of Duty for the time being and Devin goes, can you pass me the rock? And he was talking about the PlayStation controller. Why the fuck did you call it a rock? Whoa. Is it like an inside joke that I missed or something? Yeah, let's just say that. No, explain why you called the fucking controller a fucking rock. I don't even know. You're a fucking dumbass. <laughs> Damn, we still got all the Orbeez containers out here. Aw, oh, dude, it feels so cool. Look at this one. Damn. Oh, these Orbeez are kind of big in there. I don't. Oh, shit. No, fuck. <laughs> Bro, look at how big these are. Alrighty, guys, we are back at Smith's again to pick up some more dry ice and a couple other ingredients. Devin and I are going to be making homemade liquid nitrogen. We're going to be freezing and shattering shit. So Smith's only has 70% isopropyl alcohol. Recommended it's 99. So Devin and I are gonna head over to Walmart after this and see if we can find a higher percentage isopropyl alcohol. The big secret we've been waiting to tell you guys is Devin has a kid. <laughs> Who's the baby moms? I don't even know. <laughs> Damn. So we also got a two liter, a jug of water, and the dry ice. And I'm gonna show you guys in a little bit what the two liter and the jug of water is for. Runaway cart up there, I couldn't zoom in far enough. Yo, if that hits my car, oh, I don't think it's close to my car. I bet you it hits someone. Damn, they got lucky. The cart smashed right into the light post. We're at my second home, Walmart. Have a few things we have to pick up here. We need that 99% isopropyl alcohol. And then we need a couple miscellaneous items. Devin's grabbing a cart right now. I think we're gonna get cherries, grapes. All right, so it looks like Walmart does not have 99% isopropyl alcohol, but they do have 91%. I think it should work. Here, nah, no pussy shit. We're going with the big container. Wow, where were all these containers of cheese balls when I needed them to fill Rachel's car? Damn, that's a lot of cheese balls. We got strawberries, we got not actual cherries, but the cherries that come in a jar because cherries are out of season right now. We got a tomato, we got some apples. Uh, we got a couple other random shit at the house that we are gonna try freezing with this homemade liquid nitrogen. Probably not a good idea to do this, but I'm kind of digging these like at-home science experiments and shit. 
This dude literally got Orbeez all over my seat. You're a dick, they're all over my floor too. It is crazy windy tonight in Las Vegas again. I have a feeling there's a storm moving and it kind of smells like rain right now. Alrighty guys, so right now we are pretty much gonna be getting everything ready to do this liquid nitrogen. Devin's down here trying to give his dog a dog treat, but dog ain't having it. Let's see. Devin's gonna go grab me a sharper knife. So Devin just grabbed me a sharper knife, and now the first thing we're gonna do is cut a relatively even line. Perfect. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this two liter in half. Excuse me. A razor blade or an X-Acto knife will probably be better for this. And just because I'm showing you guys how to do this and what I'm doing does not mean that it's safe or it's okay to do, so please don't do this at home unless you're with an adult and they approve of it or more or less a scientist. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make little holes all around the bottom. Taking my time doing this kinda because I really don't wanna cut myself. Now we're gonna place this inside the water jug, like so. I'm gonna run out to the garage really fast, I will be right back. So I ended up grabbing a glove and a hammer from the garage. Hammer to crush up the dry ice, glove to handle the dry ice. Don't wanna crush it up too much, just enough to go around the sides. Anyways, what I'm continuing to do breaking up the dry ice. And you wanna have about a few inches of dry ice on the side of the two liter, maybe like two or three inches. Alrighty, so the camera actually stopped recording while I was in the process of doing this. I guess I ran out of room on my memory card. But, we should be back in business. Ready to go. All right, Dev, you wanna grab the rubbing alcohol? So once you have the, holy shit, that is so cold. Once you have like a few inches of dry ice on the side of the two liter, then what you're gonna wanna do is add your, they recommend 99% isopropyl alcohol, but we can only find 91, so. And you're gonna pour that right inside this green two liter. So now, as you guys can see, God, I don't even want to touch this. Whoo! The alcohol is so cold that it's boiling inside this dry ice. Once this bubbling goes down a little bit, that's when we're gonna see if this is actually liquid nitrogen and see if we can freeze some stuff. So if all goes as planned, we should be able to put these grapes, that's what we're gonna start off with, inside of this homemade liquid nitrogen, and they should freeze. We're gonna set these in here because I really don't want to freeze to death. Oh, dude, that looks so cool. Oh, shit, just sprinkle on my face. That's not good. Just probably set those in there a little more gentle next time. I wonder how long, I don't know how long you're supposed to leave it in there for. But, uh, I don't know, let's take one out right now. It's been about 30 seconds or so. Uh, it's hard, but it's not completely frozen yet. What's up, babe? Hey, babe. We're making a video. Let's do that. I made homemade liquid nitrogen. You yeah, tell everyone not to try this at home. Do not try this at home. I'm gonna record with my G7X too, so that way I can show you guys what it looks like in here. Where is the G7X? So this is what it's gonna look like inside the liquid nitrogen container. As you guys can tell, what, it popped on you? Oh, damn. The grapes are in there, and we're gonna take these out right now. The goal is to be able to shatter something from it freezing from the liquid nitrogen, like maybe hit it with a hammer. Whew. Oh yeah, that's really cold. You guys hear that? 
It's almost done. We're gonna leave those in there a couple more minutes. What else should we, we should just like start adding the stuff in now. Let's add a couple strawberries. We have one strawberry. And we have two strawberries. Yep, those are cherries. And now we're going to leave these in here for a few minutes and see if they will freeze. Alrighty, let's try grabbing out one of those grapes. You guys hear that? That's a grape. Hold on, let's see if we can get this to shatter that we record with the G7X. I got you we're going to hit this grape with a hammer to see if it's cold enough from the liquid nitrogen that it'll shatter. Alright, you ready? I'm ready. Three, two, one. Holy shit! Yeah, and this time, I'm gonna hold the grape. Holy shit! That is crazy! It's literally cracking apart. The grape is cracking. Grab out one of the strawberries, or a raspberry. Do a strawberry first. They've been in there a little longer. We're gonna leave the other ones in here. So Deb, get the G7X ready. I think this one's gonna shatter. So, I think this strawberry is gonna shatter. Let's see. Three, two, one. Dude, it literally, oh, shit. <laughs> it cracks apart like glass. What was that? Guys, that was a cherry. is completely frozen. Wow, that is awesome. I hope you guys are ready to see some cool ass shit. Right here, we have a regular leaf. See, it's bendy, everything. Just a normal leaf, I just pulled it off of one of my bushes. We're gonna put this leaf inside this liquid nitrogen for a few seconds. So we've had the leaf inside of the liquid nitrogen for a few seconds. Now check this out. The leaf doesn't bend. Oh, that is so cold. As you guys can see, well, it's warming up now because I'm touching it with my fingers, but the leaf just cracks. I already think that's everything. That's a res. It just shattered. Their raspberry is cracking like glass. Dude, that is so cool. I wish I could just eat. Oh, 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 that's cold. That's cold. I wish I could just eat it. So this grape has been in there super long. It's harder than a rock. Let's see if we can shatter this. What? It literally split the grape right in half. Like an apple. Oh yeah, I forgot. We got some big shit. We got an apple, we got a tomato. But, we're gonna need some more dry ice and some more rubbing alcohol. We are gonna drop in the apple. Obviously the apple is a lot bigger, so we're gonna have to leave it in there a little bit longer for it to hopefully freeze all the way through. So you guys know yesterday we did the dry ice bombs with the Ori's. Today we are doing another dope science experiment. Yesterday's really wasn't a science experiment. It was more or less Devin and I being bored and just wanting to do something to entertain you guys. So once again, I hope you guys enjoyed that video yesterday and I hope you guys are enjoying this video of how to make homemade liquid nitrogen, and freezing random shit in your house. In my house. That's so crazy, it's like ice all around the outside. Right now, we are outside, I apologize. It is extremely windy right now. We're underneath the street light and we're gonna see if we can get this apple to shatter. You ready? Three, 
two, one. Oh, dude, it's like rock hard. Look. It just like cracked apart. Ooh, it's still kind of wet on the inside, so it didn't freeze all the way through like I wanted it to. So I probably had to sit in there a really, really long time. But now we're going to do the tomato. So no more ADD. We're switching over to the G7X. We're going to put this tomato, oh shit, inside our homemade liquid nitrogen. And we're going to leave this in here for a long time. In the meantime, Rachel is brushing. Oh my gosh, calm down. Oh, are you happy girl now yet? You got your bath? Oh my God. She's going crazy. All right, come back over here. Let mama finish brushing you. Sit down. Sit down, be a good girl. So the tomato has been in here for about 15 to 20 minutes. So, dude, look at the, it cracked. It literally cracked the whole tomato. Holy shit. It got so cold it cracked. It's glass, here. We'll just do this one inside. Bro, that's gonna crack my counter. Like that one in the street. That's a fucking tomato, guys. All right, yeah, let's go outside. All right, you ready? Yep. Three. This, this one's going high. Two. One. Going over here. Dude, it literally cracked like a fucking bocce ball. Here. It, dude, it's so hard to crack. Look at the inside. It didn't, it almost froze all the way through. It's literally fucking rock hard. Look at this, come over here. Guys, this is a tomato. So for our last thing that we're gonna try, we are gonna try freezing a Twinkie. All right, drop it in dad, but drop it in gentle. You know, I have to push this under with the tongs a little bit. All right, grab it out. Shake it off a little bit. And then drop it on the paper towel. Hammer time. Oh, dude, the icing. Your fingers, bro. Yeah, it's not that, it is pretty cold actually. Ah! The only thing that really didn't freeze about this Twinkie was this icing. That's it's really non, fucking cold though. That's the non-perishable part. Yeah, that, that <laughs> icing ain't gonna fucking freeze. Alrighty guys, so that is pretty much gonna wrap it up for making at-home liquid nitrogen. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I am still amazed at how cold everything got that it froze like all the way through that tomato was like a glass tomato it was so cool if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up likes are appreciated let's see if we can hit 20,000 likes on this video shoot some right up to the ceiling yeah. smells good nothing too interesting happened though what else can we do with this leftover dry ice? Let's pour this in here and see what happens. Dude, it's like layered. Look, it won't go past that certain part. The soda won't. Cleanup is fun. Yeah, you ready for this? How cool does that look? So I was just running this dry ice under the hot water. I'm gonna add it to this galaxy slime that we made and see what happens, if anything happens at all. Oh, I shouldn't have, shouldn't have did it with the glove on. Look at it. Look, 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 look. Oh, dude, that is so cool. Here, try blocking it up. 
<laughs> How cool is that? You uh, want to add hot water and blow it up? Here, I got some more dry ice over here. <laughs> there's Orbeez stuck in all of them. Yeah, there's Orbeez stuck to the dry ice. Look at Oh, it's so sticky. So my battery ended up dying, but we put water over the glue and the dry ice, and this is currently what's happening. This looks so cool. I have an even better idea. Hold on, hold on. Hold the camera, babe. Hurry, 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 hurry. Do all these have like salt in it? Yeah. How cool is that? Yeah. Wow, my hair looks crazy right now. As you guys can tell, it is currently the next day. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Once again, if you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. Shout out of the day is going to go out to Stephanie on Instagram. Thank you so much, Stephanie, for recently following me and liking all my pictures on Instagram. As you guys can tell, it says requested because I follow people back who are going to be shout out of the day. Also, we are almost at 200,000 followers on my Instagram. We are literally at, whoa, shit. 199,000 followers. So if you do not follow me on Instagram, please follow me. Here's my name right here, Cody J. Yon. And also, I'm going to put a link to my Instagram right in the very top of the description. Let's see if we can hit 200,000 followers on my Instagram today. Once again, thank you guys for watching. That is pretty much going to wrap it up for this vlog. If you guys would like to be shout out of the day, make sure to follow me on all my social media accounts and be active. That can better your chances at being shout out of the day. And I will see you guys tomorrow.